This is the pinnacle of marine motorsport racing. This is where legends are made. Where heroes are born, where epic sagas are played out. It was another action-packed season in 2016 as the 33rd UIM F1 H2O World Powerboat Championship once again produced some of the best sporting action on water. It was a year of thrills and spills, heartache and jubilation, pain and glory as 10 teams and 22 of the world's most talented drivers went head-to-head -head over seven rounds to see who would be the UIM F1 H2O World Champion. The team to beat was CTIC F1 Shenzhen China team, led by two-time defending world champion Philip Schiap of France. And his teammate was Zhang Ziwei of China. Team Abu Dhabi boasted one of the world's few elite men to have won three consecutive world titles, Alex Carella, and also veteran former world number two, Tani Al Kamzi, the team led by 10-time F1 H2O champion, Guido Capellini. Abu Dhabi's perennial rival Victory Team of Dubai set some ambitious goals for 2016, bringing on board boat building guru David Moore to give their top driver Sean Torrente a new boat with which to pursue the world title. He would once again be racing alongside Nadir Bin Hendi, one of the most successful pilots ever in another series, Class 1. And then there's Mad Croc Baba Racing Team with two time world champion Sammy Celio and his Finnish teammate, Philip Roms, showing greater promise every season. Another team from the UAE was Emirates Racing Team, led by Scott Gilman, and sporting a talent-packed team with multiple Grand Prix winner Ahmed al Hamali and one of the biggest talents to join the tour in recent years, Eric Stark of Sweden. Team Sweden has struggled through the years to challenge the big teams, but with a multiple Grand Prix winner like Jonas Anderson, they're always serious challengers on the tour. Anderson's teammate was the young Jesper Fors, who'd impressed with some good results in 2015. There was a fourth UAE-based team in the mix, EMIC Racing Team, fresh off a Sharjah Grand Prix win in the last race of 2015, where Moritz Stromoy became the only female to win an F1 H2O race. Stromoy would be joined by Mike Sumura, who stepped up from F4 Racing as the season got underway. F1 Atlantic team saw veteran Portuguese driver Duarte Benevente in his 17th year on the tour with five podiums to his name and his teammate Christophe Larigo of France. Blaze Performance team has two formidable racers on board, Francesco Cantando with 12 Grand Prix wins and 42 podiums to his credit and the Polish driver Bartek Marsalek. Also in the mix was Maverick Racing Team featuring Cedric de Guin of France looking to make his mark in F1 H2O. Now let's see how it all unfolded round by round. 2016 season kicked off in Dubai, one of the most spectacular cities in the world and also one of the world's most prestigious powerboating venues where locals love and relish marine motorsports. The only team changes were Ivan Brigada, who filled in for Ahmed Al Hamali in Emirates Racing Team. The challenging Dubai circuit featured an exciting 800 meter straightaway and two tight corners with a yellow right-hander. In the BRM qualifying, Alex Carella went out looking for his 12th career pole position. The three-time world champion was in fine form, 41.61. Carella took provisional pole from Jonas Anderson, watching nervously as Philip Schiap hit the circuit. He was incredibly fast and incredibly tight, 41.36. Philip Schiap wins the BRM qualifying, his fifth ever qualifying win. A despondent Carella starts behind the Frenchman in the first race of the year. Anderson in third slot, followed by Eric Stark, Sean Torrente and Tani Alcamzi completing the top six. Philip 
Shep charges out of the start pontoon, leading right from the get-go with Corella right behind him. No surprises as Shep gets to the commitment buoy first, followed by Alex Corella, Jonas Anderson, Eric Stark, Torrente in fifth, and Daniel Kamsi cutting through on the inside. Jesper Fors went over. Anderson's teammate loses control. His race was over, and that would be a yellow flag. There it is again, huge air for the young Swede, but he escaped uninjured. At the restart, Schiap was sharp as he held off the Corella challenge. But behind them, Torrente used the restart to full advantage as he moved past Anderson on the outside into third. Corella threw everything he had at Schiap, reducing the gap to just a few boats lengths near the end, but Schiap held on for a perfect start to his 2016 campaign. Corella, runner-up, Torrente on the podium in third, Anderson fourth, best ever result for Zhang Ziwei in fifth, and Benevente sixth. Dubai Grand Prix champion Philip Xiap kicks the year off with a full 20 points for CTIC F1 Shenzhen China team. The UIM F1 H2O World Championship returned to beautiful Evian, France for the second year in a row as this world famous and historic spa resort located at the foot of the French Alps, hosted the 20th French Grand Prix on Lac Le Mans. The French Grand Prix would be raced on a six-pin, two-kilometer circuit with tricky water conditions and one right-hander. High winds and rough waters meant qualifying was postponed today and only Q1 and Q2 were run. In Q1, Zhang Ziwei found some excellent pace, but the Chinese driver barrel rolled out of the running, but he was unhurt. In Q2, Sami Celio failed to start, and the main battle was between three drivers vying for pole, Torrente, Corella, and Schiap. There was a back and forth between Torrente and Schiap for provisional pole before Corella laid down the law with a blistering 44.13 lap time to claim pole position in BRM qualifying. The lights go out, the race is on. The engines roar as the field speeds down that opening straightaway to the commitment buoy. Torrente nudges ahead of Corella, but Corella has the inside advantage as they come around the commitment buoy. Corella in the lead. Torrente finds the opportunity to push for the lead. He's neck and neck with Corella, nudging ahead of the Italian. Torrente does it. Sean Torrente snatches the lead from Alex Corella. Great racing from the man from Miami as Corella chases the blue boat, trying to reclaim the lead he lost. But on the very same lap, Torrente hits a pin on turn three. The buoy has been taken out, which will be a yellow flag and possibly a drive-through penalty for Torrente. With a green flag restart, Torrente does his penalty lap, which bumps Torrente down to fifth as Alex Corella regains the lead. Schiap up in second, Roms in third, Stark fourth, and Anderson in sixth behind Torrente by lap 18. Jonas Anderson is out of the race. What a blow to the Swede. Also, misery for Sami Celio. Another no point showing for the Finn. And Philip Schiap joins the caravan of heartbreak, unable to finish the race in Evian yet again. Celio's Baba racing teammate Philip Roms moves up into second position after Schiap's exit. Torrente is also moving steadily up the field as he passes Eric Stark. In the end, Corella holds on for a memorable win in Evian. Philip Roms with his best ever result, runner up, and Torrente on the podium with a third place showing. That win put Corella on top of the world standings after round two with 35 points, 11 up on Torrente. First round winner, Schiap, in third with 20 points. Roms shooting up to fourth. UIM F1H2 a World Powerboat Championship returned to stunning Portimao, Portugal for a 14th time as round three of the 2016 season was raced in one of the most idyllic spots in Portugal. The crowds flocked to watch the action unfold, all eyes on Portuguese driver Duarte Benevente of F1 Atlantic team. The 
course on the Arad River is a tricky seven-pin circuit with tides and river currents. It has a very long bend instead of a long straight designed to avoid a sandbank in the middle of the waterway. Due to blustery weather conditions, the BRM qualifying was moved to the morning of race day and once again there would be no Q3, just Q1 and Q2. Torrentech had trouble at the start of the session, unable to get out on the water in Q2 as the minutes ticked away. After two disastrous rounds, Sammy Celio finally found the form he was looking for, laying down a daunting 43.11 time. Victory team was finally able to get Torrente out there with just four minutes left in the session. He couldn't beat Celio's time. Sammy Celio won his 24th career pole position. Torrente managed to take fifth. Good second place on the starting grid for Eric Stark, Corella third, Shiab starting in fourth, Anderson in sixth, just behind Torrente. The race is on. What a start from Alex Corella and Philip Shiab as they leave pole sitter Celio and Eric Stark struggling behind them. Alex Corella takes the lead ahead of Philip Schiap as they come around the commitment buoy, nearly touching Celio in third. Alex Corella has a trim problem. Philip Schiap overtakes the leader and takes command of the race. Terrible luck for Alex Corella, but he eventually recovers. Philip Schiap exactly where he's been dying to be, in the lead and in control. Torrente is pushing hard on Celio, trying to close down that gap, but Sammy Celio is fending off the American successfully. More trim problems for Alex Carella on lap 30. The Italian is passed by Sammy Celio and then Sean Torrente. Eventually, Anderson also passes the Italian, who drops to fifth. The 48 laps over, Philip Schiap wins the Grand Prix of Portugal, his second Grand Prix win of the year. Celio manages runner-up behind Schiap, Torrente again on the podium in third, Anderson fourth, Carella salvages fifth for seven points, Stark sixth, Benevente coming in eighth for the locals. Corella maintains a slender two-point lead in the world standings after round three, but Shiap is right up there in second. Torrente's consistency keeps him third, Anderson fourth. The UIM F1 H20 Tour left Europe and headed to the Far East, where the city of Harbin in northeastern China hosted its first ever Grand Prix. And located in one of the most unique landscapes in China, Harbin hosted round four on the Hulan Estuary Wetland Park, where things were starting to heat up. All eyes were on the world championship winning CTIC F1 Shenzhen China team, but the man to beat was world standings leader Alex Carella of Team Abu Dhabi. The Grand Prix of Harbin was raced on a very different circuit with just four pins, no right-hander and very short. It looks very easy look, uh, from outside. It is quite easy as well, but going down that straight, there's a lot of wake and the wake meets the wind, the side wind, so it's a little tricky. But... In Q1, Nader bin Hendy lost control, took off and he was out, but unhurt. The boat was totaled. And a shock to Philip Schiap, unable to go out due to electrical problems, he would start in 15th place. But things couldn't have been better for Mad Croc Baba Racing Team, as Sammy Celio nabbed pole with Philip Rom second in Q3, and it would be a Mad Croc Baba 1 2 race start by the two Finnish drivers. Jonas Anderson qualified in third, followed by Alex Carella fourth, Eric Stark fifth, Al Hamily sixth. Race day, Torrente needed to change his engine, dropping him to the back of the field for the start. The race begins, Sammy Celio has a good start, as does Schiap, who blasts off the pontoon, leaving Torrente behind. Sammy Celio leading the field, opening a small lead from the get-go. Schiap and Torrente moved well within the top 10 as they began their climb up the field. Torrente was right behind Shiap, setting his sights on Ahmed Al Hamili, who nearly loses control as Torrente overhauls him on the outside. 
On lap 23, a huge crash as Corella and Philip Roms collide in a battle for second position. On the green flag restart, Torrente and Schiap both pass a lagging Eric Stark. With just a few laps to go, Ahmed Alhamali loses control, goes over, and another yellow flag. The race ends under a yellow flag, Sammy Celio finally back to his winning ways. Jonas Anderson is runner-up, Philip Schiap comes up from 14th position to nab a crucial podium spot. Torrente also up from 16th at the back to take nine points in fourth. That places Schiap at the top of the world standings, seven points up on Torrente, who moves into second as Corella drops to third. Nestled amid the dramatic karst scenery of southern China lies the colorful city of Liu Zhao, which once again hosted the UIM F1H to a World Powerboat Championship as the 2016 season heated up in round five. The Liu Zhao circuit on the Liu River is 2,020 meters long with five left-handers and one right-hander. In the BRM qualifying, round four runner-up Jonas Anderson of Team Sweden was unable to get out on the water due to mechanical trouble, meaning he'd have to start last on the grid. Q3 was full of drama, and Ahmed Alhamali and Philip Schiap ended up posting the exact same lap times, 46.05. The man with the second best lap time would take pole position, and that was Ahmed Alhamali who will enjoy the best seat in the house come race day. There they go, bad start from Alex Carella, who watches as Shiap and Celio leave him behind in the sprint to the first turn. Al Hamily successfully fends off all challengers as he gets there first with Shiap right behind him, followed by Celio, who pulls ahead of Carella to move into third. Meanwhile, Anderson begins his climb at the back, first passing Zhang Ziwei, then Francesco Cantando. Anderson moving in on Moritz Stromoy, looking for a way past the Norwegian driver in the number 50 EMIC boat. But Stromoy breaks down a lap later, and Anderson moves up into eighth position. Terrible result for Alex Carella, his world title hopes in tatters. Back in the lead, Shiap has managed to close the gap with Ahmed Alhamali to just two seconds, but Alhamali, guided by Emirates racing guru Scott Gilman, keeps his cool and closes out his first race win in five years, overcoming huge health issues, winning a first ever race for Emirates racing team. Shiap opens his lead to 13 points atop the world standings over Torrente. Celio moves up into third ahead of Corella. Anderson in fifth, Al Hamily moving into the top six. The tour returned to the UAE as Abu Dhabi hosted round six, the penultimate round of the UIM F1H to a World Powerboat Championship. There was a new driver on the tour, the experienced Australian Grant Trask for EMIC Racing Team, who would be piloting a specially designed number 17 boat. The Abu Dhabi circuit is a two kilometer long six pin course with one right hander, highly technical with some tricky water conditions. BRM qualifying in Q2, Alex Carella made Q3, but then crashed out to his disgust. The man who stole the show was Jonas Anderson, taking his incredible speed in Q2 on into Q3, where he set a whopping 44.60 lap time to seal the third pole position of his career and the first in years for the Swede. A delighted Jonas Anderson starts in pole. Behind him, another Swede, Eric Stark in second. Then the two main world title contenders, Chiap and Torrente, set to do battle side by side. Carella starts in sixth. And it's on. Great start from Philip Schiap as he powers ahead right from the get-go with Jonas Anderson desperately trying to keep up but with the inside pole position lane to his advantage. Schiap pulls ahead but the inside lane advantage... <laughs> oh! 
works for Anderson, who just manages to hold off the Frenchman and hold on to the lead, but with Xiaob right up there with him, Stark in third. Zhang Ziwei is chasing Roms in ninth and crashes, coming around the right-hander. On the restart, Eric Stark on the inside with the clean waters giving him a nice boost as he tries to get a jump on his fellow Swede while also trying to unseat Xiaob from second position as they go neck and neck. But Xiaob on the outside gets back in there and gives Stark the fight he's looking for. Xiaob does it. Xiaob smokes Stark, who's back down in third. Another crash. This time it's Ahmed Al Hamali. He's unhurt, but his fine form over the past two Grand Prix comes to an end in Abu Dhabi. The second green flag restart. Anderson is on his toes. Xiaob and Stark once again locking horns behind the Swede. And once again, Philip Xiaob coming up trumps with his exceptional acceleration as he holds on to second spot. There is yet another accident, this time Jesper Fors in a spectacular crash for a third yellow flag. The green flag is up, Xiaob right on the leading Swedish boat's tail. But Anderson fends off the Frenchman and holds on for his first Grand Prix win in seven years. Xiaob runner up, but there's drama behind Xiaob as Corella makes a last ditch dash in a photo finish with Torrente. Alex Corella a nose length ahead of the American, nabbing a spot on the podium for Team Abu Dhabi. Torrente fourth. <laughs> Grand Prix of Abu Dhabi champion Jonas Anderson. That puts Xiaob just one point away from winning the world championship for 2016. Torrente is second and Anderson moves up to third position in the world standing. Sharjah once again provided a stunning venue for the final round of the UIM F1H2O World Powerboat Championship where the 2016 title would be determined. This was it, the final round, make or break. Sharjah has been one of the most popular venues on the F1H2O tour with its scenic city and stunning environs, a slice of true Arabian beauty. A new driver on the tour, the latest talented F4 graduate, Rashid al Kamzi joining Team Abu Dhabi. The Sharjah circuit is a highly technical and demanding five-pin course where waves reverberating off surrounding walls make these waters extra difficult to negotiate. The VRM qualifying Q2 Bartek Marsalek of Blaze Performance Team got his first ever Q3 spot, a top six place guaranteed for the Polish driver. In Q3, Jonas Anderson laid a huge lap time down on his first lap, 44.33. But on his second lap, he pushed too hard and his boat went flying. Huge crash. He was unhurt and he kept his provisional pole position, but would his boat be ready for the race the next day? Try as they might, nobody else had an answer to Anderson's time. Shiap managed second position on the starting grid ahead of Torrente in third, then Stark in fourth, followed by Celio and Bartek Marsalek. Guys have been working the whole night to fix the boats and the engine and uh, many people from uh, other teams have helping me so it's only one way to give them back something to we go for the win. The Sharjah Grand Prix is underway on the Khalid Lagoon. Shiap and Torrente neck and neck in this crucial opening drag race with Shiap just nudging ahead of the American. Shiap fastest on the straightaway, and the inside lane advantage isn't enough for Anderson, who's bumped down by Shiap. Torrente has the speed as he nudges slightly ahead, coming to that left-hander. Anderson giving it all he has, but Torrente is just too fast. The sweep going from pole position back down to third in the first lap. In lap 15, big spill from Zhang Ziwei, whose boat goes flying on its side, crashing back down into the water as pieces fly off in the air. At the restart, Torrente flies past Xiaop to move into first position. The Frenchman experiencing radio problems. Sean Torrente with the lead. Anderson close on Xiaop's tail in third. And behind Stark, Corella is moving up on the suite, overtaking Stark. Corella breaks down. That moves Sammy Celio into third.
final lap. Sean Torrente on his way to winning his first Grand Prix of 2016. The runner-up spot for Schiap clinches the world title for the Frenchman. Philip Schiap makes it three world titles in a row. It's just a blessing to be here, you know? It just is, and uh, I don't ever take it for granted. So uh, we're second again in the championship, but we can't finish better than that. We gotta win. Anderson manages to finish fourth in his most successful year on the tour in a long time. Grant Trask finishes in sixth in just his second Grand Prix. Rom seventh, Ben Hendy gets a point for victory team. The world champion for 2016, Philip Schiap. Torrente world runner up, Sammy Celio third. Everybody say one point, one point, and one point. It's, uh, it's a lot of if you don't finish the race. And uh, now I'm very happy because my guys uh, work very hard and uh, I have very nice setup, good start, and we are champion three times. The World Team Championship sees the title go to CTIC F1 Shenzhen China team. What a year it's been for CTIC F1 Shenzhen China team. See you in 2017.